publicity to the dude. I mean, he get enough of that already. I think you do have to blame some of the media for for blowing the dude's head up, and he just feel like his shit don't stink and and all this. And it's just like I think a lot of what you see is frustration. I think he knows he ain't been the champ for a while, uh, and he he didn't know what else to do. He acting like a child. It's it, it, it's retarded. I mean, you know, I ain't gonna get a, I ain't gonna get that cokehead too much press. So. Um. Okay. Back to the the incident in uh, New York, uh, a former opponent, Michael Case, was forced to lose his fight. I don't know if, if you had any thoughts of that. Did you maybe try to reach out and say, you know, sorry for your loss or anything? I mean, what were your thoughts on the fact that fighters had to lose their fights due to the actions of another? Man, I feel bad for the dude. I really do. Uh, like I said, I wish it had been me on that bus. We would have caused a riot in that bitch. <laughs> there ain't no way they would have held me on that bus. I feel bad for a guy like Mike. Mike don't want to hurt a fly. Uh, he should stop showing up for media stuff. He just keep getting hit in the head. I mean, it's, I don't know. If I was the UFC, I'd just stop scheduling a dude to do media. I don't know. It ain't, it ain't working out too good for him. Well, I guess on a, 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 one final last thing for that on me. Uh, I know we always look at, we, we keep talking about what Connor did. What Connor did, do you feel that could be played a role in that as well? That he has something to blame with the, the whole team gathering around Artem and it feels like that's what you know, Connor said he came back to defend his, his teammate. Do you feel that there was some, you know, part of him that causes? No, nah, man, it's, it's, that's just the game, you know, that's just a fight game. And, and even what Khabib did, I didn't think was disrespectful. I didn't think, I didn't see nothing out of line. Uh, and if it was out of line, that's not the way to go about it. You know, I, I think Connor, he want to be this gangster and he want to be this thug, but he ain't really from there. You know, if, if, if it's me, like I've, I got into this game to get away from that, you know, to get away from having to do shit like that. It seems like he is is trying to get there and then he's going back to where I came from. And it's it's, it's backwards to me. It don't really make sense. Uh, and you can tell that the man don't know what he's doing because when you got that type of money, you ain't supposed to throw shit, you know? He, he's supposed to be out to somewhere in uh, holding up a newspaper in front of cameras. That would, I ain't nowhere near the scene but somebody will get touched and I mean well that whole situation is just it's it's laughable it's laughable to to, to somebody like me and I, and I hate giving him press really I know you don't want to give him press this is something that you just said that made me think about it and um, just generally what can happen to somebody like him that uh, like Connor who gets all this early fame that gets all this yes people surrounding him in some sort of way I mean how much do you think that affects like a fighter's mentality once you get to that level and have that kind of I guess uh, people around you as a champion and then yeah, you, does it just like get to you at one point you think it's dangerous to start drinking that Kool-Aid I mean it, it really is uh, in all senses of it, in, in the fight sense, you know, like I said, I don't think that the man, I think the man truly knows he's not the real champ, uh, and he doesn't stack up well against us big three. You know, you got Khabib, you got Tony, you got me. We, he's going to lose to all three of us. Uh, so there's that frustration, but then the man's not, he, you know, he's not a real gangster. Like, yeah, he might have grew up poor, but they like working class, you know, they ain't really street people. He, he want to be from the street so bad that... It's dangerous. It's dangerous to play around with that, and I mean, it can be shown. I mean, I, I, I know it just because I've seen it, and I and I know people that are real in it. And uh, you play around with them, them folks. You know, you can't do that too long. They don't give a fuck about your money. I know a lot of dudes that don't either. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how the whole thing shakes out. I, I wish him nothing but the best. I, I hope nothing bad on the man i wish him the best i wish he can turn it around and uh i'm looking to make some money with him it's some fights to be made